What is going on, guys? Ghost Tendency back here again with another part to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, yeah, as you guys noticed, I have the new uh, little HUD, I guess you could say, I, I, I made earlier today. So hopefully that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I just got, I might have to do a little bit of adjusting on that because uh, I wanted to have it just above the the um, you know the commands menu. Just so I wasn't blocking it. Um, but yeah, we are right where I left off here. So let's go ahead, since we have a moment, and make sure we are good on that adjustment. Okay, so... Mm. Bring it right about here. Hopefully that looks good. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be like a little bit of trial and error, I guess. But uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, we'll just go with this for now and see how it goes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so glad to be back, man. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, I didn't even make sure we're recording. Um, yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay. Hopefully no odd camera issues like last time where it decided to just go off on its own. Yeah, I'm so happy to be back on here, man. Just a good feeling. Yeah, I want to just... Man, as much as I want to explore, and I'm going to explore at some point soon here, I just want to, uh... to advance a little bit. I will take your things, though. Okay, we are heading towards the pin. No way, is this already the Chocobo Ranch? <laughs> That's interesting, the little, like, live stream looking thing that kind of, I, I guess, kind of guides you or something? I'm not entirely sure on that. Make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and quiet. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. What You're was that? <laughs> so it's throwing tables. Shimmer's leaving no stone unturned. <laughs> Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. So you don't actually have to go back to like someone specific to mess with those. That's good. Uh, vending machines offer a variety of useful items that you will aid you on your search or your adventure. Where did I get search from? <laughs> Such as potions and plumes of Phoenix Down. They also sometimes offer limited quantities of certain items at special prices. So yeah, same as remake. Same as remake. A cushion. How's to use broken down rest stops? So these are kind of like tents. Oh, I can only get one. Oh, oh, okay. Fair enough. I don't have money. I used it all on cards. I don't regret it. Okay, we should be good. Oh, also something I wanted to mention. Um, I was kind of thinking about it last episode, but I kept hearing um. There was that part at the very beginning of the game, you know, where the reporter's talking and they're going in and showing, like, Tifa, Barrett, and Red unconscious or dead, you know, at Megar. But it didn't click with me that that was being shown, at the very beginning, that was being shown in the timeline, world, whatever, where Zack was alive. But we were hearing it over, like, radio or whatever in this timeline. So what's up with that? That's uh, very interesting to me. Uh, how's my... Okay, HP and MP's fine. We haven't done a whole lot of battling anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just get it. 
I'm ready to get out there and start getting into some battles and, you know, exploring the map some. Oh, let's go. Use a test on an enemy to reveal its enemy. An elemental weakness. Can't talk. <laughs> as effective... As well as effective strategies to use against it. Then exploit those to pressure and ultimately stagger your foe. Will do. It's on Yo, you. Let's get some more red going on here. Now, feeding time. With me. Keep it up. Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh. Pressing one of the four action buttons while guarding with R1 will execute a synergy skill. I was just looking at that. Each of these skills functions differently and may require you to hold down the corresponding corresponding button or tap it in quick succession. Pressing the touchpad while guarding will provide information on these skills. Okay. These commands do not consume ATB, which is awesome, but rather help fill party members. Oh, that helps them fill ATB. That's really cool. Furthermore, performing synergy skills for the first time with the cloud will improve his relationship with his teammate. Okay. Very cool. You're up. Got it. Thank you. Is that a hold? Um. Hmm. Because that doesn't seem to be doing anything. With me. He does attack. Maybe I'm not far enough back. Maybe I'm not far enough back on that. Guards against attacks to greatly increase vengeance gauge. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to attack there. Okay, so that's cool. So that you can use that to like charge toward like Cloud, for example. Oh, yeah. Let's see, Moogle Trio. Yo, Tifa, what do you got? You got ice on your face? <laughs> that was right on the middle of her face. Okay, fledgling summoner. Summon spot alongside you briefly. We know this. I uh, will drone, however you can command them. Yep, on the summon gauge. Yep, you know all that. Dude, the battle, like, it just sounds so good. Like, the sound effects and everything, it just... Oh. So good, man. The combat feels much better than Remake, and I love Remake's combat. I don't know, something, they tweaked it just right in this. Okay, I'm just looking at the little mini icons up there, which you can change that by doing which button again? Let's see, where are we at? So what are, okay, these are like little uh, town slash points of interest. Okay, that's the abandoned dock. All right, all right, I got you. Interesting. Okay. I assumed we would just be heading straight for the, uh, the Chocobo Ranch. Chocobo Bill! Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. What about Cloud? <laughs> I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh... Know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. 
I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> Let's calm down, Bill. Just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. <laughs> okay, will do. Ah oh, man, I'm so tempted to explore, but I want to. I want to like move forward in the game. I don't. I mean, because I know you can come back, so I'm not like too worried about it at the moment. We'll have some time for exploring later. As much as I want to, like, wander around and look at every corner of the map right now. <laughs> Hello. Bring it. about Tifa. Um, okay, just making sure her stuff was the same. Seems like it is. Okay, I'm about to shrink the square. No time to celebrate. <laughs> Good stuff. Ah, I don't want to get distracted by all the little things I can pick up, because I'm just going to end up wandering around the whole map anyway. Where are we at? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Red lifting him up in the air and me hitting the braver on him. Unblockable attacks. Okay, we know about this one. Still got hit by it. Okay, I guess I don't know about that one. Some of these occasionally bind you. Yep, we know about that too. Totally missed that. Damn. Watching your health, absolutely. Damn, man. This thing is not playing. Good lord. Well, I see some rare material over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, curing in. Okay, we still got the multi-use, I like that. This ray looks crazy. I haven't really paid attention, but does that summon gauge come up on every battle? That seems a little broken, right? <laughs> Suns are powerful, man. I feel like that might make some of the fights too easy. But hey, I don't know anything about the game yet, so. We will see as we progress. Wow, 
I really love the atmosphere here as it gets more wooded. What? This is awesome looking. I love like these dark, gloomy... Did it get cloudy because we're in the woods? Or is that like actual weather changes? Hold on. I can't tell. Was it always cloudy? I mean, it's a little brighter over here, sure. I think that's because we were in the woods. Okay. Interesting. I see a weapon chest. Let me guess. That's going to be that sword. That 3,000 gil one. At the shop. Right on the money. <laughs> nice. What is this? Oh, that's just right in the materia section. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Increase ATB recharge rate when performing actions. That's cool. Increase the number of consecutive slashes with strong attacks in Punisher mode. I'm gonna go with that ETB charge rate. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and put that fire on. I don't have any other materia, so that's the one. What was the uh, DLC thing I got? Occasionally increases the amount of materials collected. Oh, okay. And HP up? I like that. That's not... That doesn't feel too broken, so I'll put that on. I thought there was something else I uh, got with the bonus stuff. Uh, you can use the power risk guards, my boy. And then immunity to sleep? Sure. Sounds good. Oh, hold on. They don't have any of these on. Increase counterspin potency. Restores HP when activating. Ooh. Oof. I like that. Increases the duration of unbridled strength. Oh, that's pretty good. Increases the attack power with while unbridled strength is active with a 5% boost at chi level 1. I'm going to go that. Yes. Go ahead and set up these guys, too. Makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. Um, I don't know how it is in this game, but in Remake, I never really noticed that. So, let's get that HP. Increases wind damage by 10%. Increases flitting familiar duration by 25%. Mm, guess we'll go with that. Is this the swamp? No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. This is the swamp. You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. <laughs> then maybe we swim it. <laughs> Why you got bows like that, Barry? This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can wrench a chocobo. Nah, F that. We fight it. Safely past <laughs> being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird. <laughs> Well, can we rent some birds? Can we? I don't have money. I'm spending it all on cards. <laughs> <laughs> if you two have money stashed away, sure. That is really cool. Look at that. See Red's tail is actually reflecting off the blade? Cloud. Cloud, not now. 
That is really cool. Wow, okay. Those real-time reflections going on. I see you. Again, I don't have money. Cards. Okay. I had different priorities. I'm sorry. Oh, birds. Yeah, that's not... Bird? That's not a place you can really... Bird? Okay. <laughs> Yo, know, I wonder if this is gonna be like the original where you can bypass the Midgard Storm or if you have to actually fight it in this one. Like, it's a mandatory thing. Is that thing gonna wreck me if I just jump in there? <laughs> Yo, I tried. I went for it. Gotta get chocobos, man. Okay, they won't even let you. Okay. They're, they're too smart for that. I'm intentionally trying to be stupid, so... What is that over there? What is that yellow thing? I need to know. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Chocobos it is. Oh, I see some rare materials. Definitely not gonna pass that up. Okay. Let me get all of that. Yes, please. party is walking around you know that's cool I like that a lot no more morphing into cloud <laughs> the party members While many chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen into disrepair, their benches are mostly intact. If you have a cushion, you can sit down for a rest, which will fully replenish your HP and MP. Sure. I did use a lot of MP healing everyone with Cloud. <laughs> yeah, I love the little, uh save point sign there I saw that you could repair these in something that that was shown at the game I don't remember if it was a trailer or something like that but I must not be able to do that yet I'm just gonna see if I can climb up here I love that you can traverse like that that is amazing Yes, it is, Tifa. You know what's up. Man, I don't want to see trees anymore. Hey, if you notice the shirt, you know why I'm talking about I don't want to see trees anymore, okay? At least not single ones. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I was legitimately about to swing at these rabbits. Is that food? Can I kill them and get food? <laughs> get ingredients? Woo! <laughs> wow, you don't play. I feel bad for that one, man. Good lord. That dude got wrecked. Oh, 
Oh. Listen, I'm not about to bypass materials if they're right next to me. Am I getting money from killing monsters? Yeah, okay, okay. It's about to say. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. What's up, Bill? Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you. I was about you to left. say that was quick. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. <laughs> now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Yeah, I'm wondering. Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Why do I feel like we're going to get a chase scene but with that thing? You don't need convincing. You just need pointing. To a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. <laughs> so, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Billy! Billy's about to charge, man, if this is like the original, Billy's about to charge me like 2,000 gil. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. Knock over some of your things. Just in advance. I'm good on those. I have 10. Yo, another steel material down a hunt. Wait, so how much? Wait. How much is it? It says down 100%. Oh, is that just. Uh, that's just how much it is, and it's just saying down a percentage? Yo, because steel was like. Was steel 500 before? Yo, like, I'm so down to pay 100 for an extra steal. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's, uh... Like, I definitely have some free slots, right? Oh, yeah. Red, you can have another steal. I want everyone to be able to steal, man. I want all the items. I can't do anything with that yet, so. What is this? What is this secret room? Who's knocking? Who did it? I heard someone knocking something over. That's my job. Red, you look guilty. Yeah, I think it was Red. I heard something getting knocked over back there. Can I talk to the chocobos? Okay, I scared it. <laughs> Tifa! Red! Come on, that's my job, guys! I'm supposed to be the tornado out here knocking stuff over. Choco Howdy. Billy. It's on the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? <laughs> Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me. There's kid. birds all around. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list for a price. What'd I tell you? Which is? Two th grand each. <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to come off that price. We don't have that kind of money, or any. Really. Right, because I spent them all on cards. That's my bad. <laughs> well, there is one other option. 
only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. <laughs> That's messed up, find man. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people, but if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Nice. He's much more accommodating than the original. <laughs> need something? Good luck wrangling Pico. Oh, hello. Nice. Go ahead and stuff that on area real quick. That looks like something that would be like a <laughs> like a bed post or something. <laughs> It's pretty cool, though, not gonna lie. Raise a barrier that damages and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike you. What? Whoa! That's actually really cool. Oh, yeah, it has its own, uh... Weapon skill. So, was that a ward? It's a barrier. Okay, so I don't think that works for that. Oh, well. Yeah, there's just gonna be constant things getting knocked around in this game, isn't there? <laughs> I love it, though. I'm not gonna lie. What's up here? You hiding things? I smell more treasure. You haven't given me your... See? They haven't given me everything. Google metal, okay. Now the question is, where do we uh, use those Moogle medals? Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing. He's got job. a good head. We understand, I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say. Are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um. Oh yeah. Not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Was that their dad? Where is he? Probably the Sector Six slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault. Mom and Dad are gone. So. Oh. Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Damn, it's like that. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. This man I don't want competition. These greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So that reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> a ranch's tax shop will have chocobo gear for sale, which can only be traded for golden plumes. These rare feathers can be obtained by wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. Okay. Mysterious bits of purified earth? Oh, these are, um... Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
Stuff for transmuting. I like that. Okay, I obviously don't have any plumes. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. If he does, we can eat him. Because apparently that's a thing in this world. <laughs> Hold on, before that, before that, I'm not passing up some rare materials. Speaking of which, where are we at with transmuting? Okay, nice, nice, nice. We can now transmute Mist Potion, Phoenix Draft, Canister of Echo Mist. What? Mixed Potion? Mist Potion? What does this do? Oh, all allies? What? Oh my gosh, okay. I like that. Sure, let's just at least craft one of things here. Copper Bracer. Wood Sprite Armlet. Restores... HP and MP? Okay. Nice. Almost level four. What do I need? Numinous Ashes? I can buy that here, so... I... Oh, that wouldn't even get me to level four, though. Well... No, I don't have enough beast talents. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I would need four? Hold on. Wait, all I need to do is this one, actually. Four. Four of those. Okay. How much were those? Hold on. We're a one-stop shop for all your chocobo needs. 200 a piece? Nah, I don't got that kind of money. I do not have that kind of money. What do you got to say, Bill? Little Birdie told me Shinra's military closed off calm. Y'all wouldn't happen to know anything about nope. that, now would you? Nope. Mm-mm. Definitely not. Nope. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping I could climb over the fence. Ah, I can't get up on that roof either. It's okay. It's okay. This is why we try things, okay? So we learn. Here we go. And no materia needed for this. <laughs> That's wonderful. No spending 2,000 gil. Bingo. Nice. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Barrett, you need to stay back. You are way too big to be sneaking up on any kind of wild animal. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Well, I mean, yeah. uh, you know, like I said, if we get hungry and he doesn't cooperate, I mean, I, I've seen I've seen the menus in in Midgar's restaurants. You know, they serve chocobo steaks and burgers. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you are in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing stones you pick up. Use L1 to aim and square to throw. Okay. Oh God. Okay, I don't have any stones. How am I supposed to get by this one? I gotta go behind it? Listen, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. You don't hear anything. Okay, yeah, yeah, sleep, sleep. That works. It's 
It's okay. Yeah, just eat something down there. You don't need to worry. Don't even trip, dog. Don't even trip. Don't you turn around. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. You don't see anything. Shh. No! All right, we gotta eat them. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have a choice now. Oh, you gotta hold it. Ah, oh, I should've done from the beginning, man. I, I don't wanna be a, dang it! No, I did easy mode. You know what? Just for that, just for that, this is what you get. <laughs> okay, there, yeah, did you learn your lesson? Okay, what do I need to do? Just distract him and then... What? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I thought he was like pissed off at me. Good bird. <laughs> nice. Oh, we got party XP for that too. Aw, isn't he just the <laughs> cutest? The chocobo, yes, the greatest. <laughs> oh my god, that's my jam. What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> okay. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. <laughs> nice we just get to hear hip-hop and chocobo on the way back that's what i'm talking about <laughs> it's so magical listen whoever came up with this one needs a raise okay This isn't your everyday music, you know? They really put the magic on this one. Ah, there's <laughs> our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea. If we ask him nice. Sounds good. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? <laughs> the fact that this is still playing is great. <laughs> Oh, oh! <laughs> hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? My man got the shorts and the knee socks on. <laughs> nope, I gotta say nope. <laughs> nope. Really? Not at all? It seems I didn't make as strong an impression <laughs> as I thought. Silly me. Not as strong as the impression Cloud left on you when he was dressed up as a woman. Well, <laughs> allow me to refresh your memory. My name's Chadley. I was the one researching Materia in Midgar. 
We first met in the Sector 7 Undercity, where I asked you to provide me with battle intel. Though brief, we had multiple interactions, through which we got to know each other. <laughs> Apparently not in Cloud. Cloud didn't Did know you. Ring any bells, perhaps? Yeah. Great. What a relief. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> what? You can read people's thoughts? <laughs> That's terrifying. I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thought. You what? Was this information we learned in the remake? Because I don't remember that. What? Is this man a Sephiroth clone? Is this man the Sephiroth number two? I don't trust it. Read by any cyborg. I don't trust it. This man's about to be a fight like a. I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now the whole world's my laboratory. This man's gonna be a secret final boss. I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna wave towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Thank you for finally explaining the Republic of what? Because they've been saying Republic, and I've just been like, wh which Republic? Wh who, who? Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. Okay. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I what are you? I be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something Intel like that. Intel on Grasslands. Let's get started. Rim to wave towers has been tower? registered. That's your first target. And this will activate it. <laughs> Chad module, really? By, allow me to accompany you. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's amazing. Any secrets back there? Here we are. Ah, uh, can't talk to him. Mm. That looks like a very cumbersome device to be carrying. The controller rumbling is just amazing in this game. The way they've implemented it. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Okay. Oh, okay, all kinds After of careful stuff. careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Kind of on the nose, but okay. I feel that. Uh, Chadley will employ the data you collect to develop new materia. That's what I love to hear. Create new combat simulations and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the Rimna Wave Towers you encounter and help Chadley deepen your understanding of the world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return... I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? What are you? <laughs> I think I'm good. We'll kind of figure it out as In we go. In case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which nice, of these? That's what I like to hear. Yo, we get choices now. Oh wait. Oh, we can. Whoa. Oh yeah, we do have to choose. 
fire and ice. That's crazy! Like, what? Allows an ally to automatically use spells with the link material when not actively controlled during battle. Interesting. Morph? What? Yo. Wow. Auto unique ability? Okay. Yo. I gotta get that morph. Yo, Fire and Ice sounds amazing too. Like, yeah, let's definitely get that. That can free up a whole slot I for someone. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. What is that? <laughs> Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Complete these challenges to earn a variety of rewards such as powerful summoning materia. Hell yes. Speak with Chadley to access the simulator. Okay. We can already get Titan? <coughs> yeah, let me go ahead and equip that uh, that materia though. Like screw this fire here. That is crazy. The combined man, I love that. Mm. Tifa, you got ice. Yeah, let's give this to Red then. Red can have fire. Just in case his tail starts to go out, he can, you know, ignite it again. That seems helpful for him. Yo, that fire and ice takes a lot of AP to level up, though. Good lord. What was it, 1,200? Oh, my God. But, hey, might as well get it going. Get it started. So, I wonder if assessed material is going to be, you know, um, useful for... Is it going to be used, like for anything for Chadley now? Since we got these other ways of doing things? Uh, Tifa, you can have Morph. Oh, it's already maxed out. That's interesting. Okay, hold on. Enemy intel. Okay, no, no, no. This is... Hmm. Twin brain. Oh, these were from the uh, the flashback. Okay, okay. But we didn't actually fight a twin brain, right? I mean, Sephiroth killed one in a cutscene, but... Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Proto relic. What is this? We just have to find one and kill one, whatever this is. Interesting. Alright. I got a couple more minutes left before we hit about an hour here, so... <coughs> Let's see what this Titan fight's looking wow. like. I have recreated Titan, the mythical Colossus of the Grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. I'm about to get wrecked, aren't I? <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. Why does that say Healing Materia 2 stars? Enemy skill Materia? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was like, what? Oh, whoa. 
MP up? Yo, there's a lot of stuff I gotta do here. Hold on. Oh, let's just let's just see Titan. Let's just see Titan first. Emerge victorious against these mighty entity entities in the combat simulator to be rewarded with their summoning materia. If an entity is proving too difficult, you can gain an advantage in battle by analyzing its corresponding summon crystals found around the world. What? <coughs> oh, so it starts off at full power, but if we find the crystals, it lowers the power? Interesting. So I'm going to get wrecked, essentially. Okay. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see. Am I about to get one shot? <laughs> okay. Taking off half my health immediately. That's always, uh, you know, comforting. I, I meant to do the uh, focus thrust. Oh my god. Ooh, I don't like that. Good lord. Okay, everyone is not doing well. <laughs> Utilizing ATB commands marked with that will grant characters synergy. When two characters share enough synergy, you can activate their synergy abilities. These abilities not only deal tremendous damage, they also apply unique buffs, such as increasing limit break levels, granting unlimited MP, or extending the duration enemies are staggered. Note that repeated use of a synergy ability will increase the amount of synergy required to activate it. Okay. So I need Tifa, but I mean, we're all in bad shape right now. Not throwing in the towel. Shit. Okay, um, we're gonna die anyway, so what do you got to steal? Nothing. It's a simulation. Why did I think I could steal? <laughs> It's on now. Still the wrong one. I gotta get, gotta get my uh, shortcuts down. Well, oh no! Like oh my god, that last hit. That looked like it was painful. Fair enough. Hey, if I had like cure on everyone. Maybe someone with a cure all? I, I think I could maybe challenge that. Maybe. Still could use a level or two, you know? Um. Don't become incapacitated. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if we can get enemy, enemy skill. So it's like an enemy skill pre-installed with a skill? It's interesting. Let's do it. That's bad. Okay, first round, easy enough. Let's keep it up. Oh, was that it? I thought there was more rounds. Nice. Assess enemies across various regions to unlock special challenges in the combat simulator. Okay, the default skill Sconic Boom deals wind magic damage, grants bravery and faith will always be available as long as the materia is equipped. Okay, okay, so that's where Assess comes in.
Yo, I de- wait, is there any special? Okay, let's get it. So this is like a two-star material. Does that mean it comes pre-leveled up? Like, I, I don't, I'm super curious about that. No. Sorry. Don't overdo it. I got this. Go for it. There's no escape. Down's on you. Let's go. Yo, we wrecked them. Oh, this is a five rounder, okay. All done. Damn, man. Yo, I see you, Cloud. I see you. Yo, this is one of my favorite songs in the original. Ba, ba, ba. Yes. <laughs> Keep it together. Feeling well struck. Taking over. Ooh. Nice, a material world. Chakra improved, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Like butter. Nothing. Last one. I think that was the last one. Nice. Was never in doubt. Okay, so, yo, what are my it... trials not challenging enough? Well, the Titan one was. <laughs> I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. So does this mean this healing material just comes? Like, ready to go with Kira? Wow. That is really cool. See, I love Chakra in hard mode, but I'm not playing hard mode on this one, so I'm gonna replace that with a regular heal. All right, guys, I think that's going to be the stopping point for this moment. We will be picking this up very shortly here because uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing these, releasing these like every two days, like so every other day. Um, 
yeah, just something to put up on the channel other than anime reactions, you know. As much as I love anime, I also love gaming, so... I don't know, just want to throw it in there, you know. And I'm going to be playing the shit out of this game anyway, so... Figured might as well upload it. Uh, yeah, hopefully you, um... Hopefully you like my little layout here, uh, but yeah, you can't, you guys can't see what I'm picking on these menus. Dang, there's just no good place to put a camera. There's just no good place on this game. Oh, well. Hopefully it looks good overall, though, regardless. I don't know. I, I just don't know where to put a camera, man. I really don't. I guess I could put it in the top left corner. Does anything important come in the, go in the top left corner? I'm trying to think. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I can't figure out where I want to put it, to be honest. Maybe we'll try it in the top left corner next time? Hmm. That doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, regardless, yeah, I, I'm gonna end it there. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm I'm really struggling with where to put this camera. I swear. There's there's important information all over the screen. So no top right. I don't know. I'll figure it out here soon. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna record another one pretty much right after this. Um, but after that, I might just, like, kind of look around and see on YouTube, like, where other people are putting their camera, because I have no freaking idea where to put this, I'm gonna be honest. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next part of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Take it easy, everyone.